So it's pretty much everybody expected was going to happen at some point or another, and uh, probably sooner because of the announcement that AEW is going on the road. WWE announced they are going on the road. And multiple dates between the middle of July and uh, first week of September. I forget the number that they announced, but... 25, 25, uh, 25 cities. 25 shows, so that would be um, in seven weeks. So essentially, we're talking, um, it's going to be, you know, two TVs. So maybe, the, so the, so it feels like there will be uh, some house shows. They're going to be uh, in that period. There would be, uh, let me see, there's the July pay-per-view and then SummerSlam. So that would make, well, let's see, 714, um, seven weeks, 14, whatever. So... Um, 16. We might have a house show or two in there. We're going to have some house shows. Largely, yeah. there's going to be television and pay-per-views. Right, right. So uh, there'll be several house shows in there as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, the interesting thing is uh, that they're, they're they're starting out in Texas. The first show is the 16th. Now, the one thing I have to say is, is you know, they, they announced it, um, and they, like, um, AW made that announcement, and you know that was last week and they mentioned it and they mentioned the shows and everything like that i mean it was it was talked about but it wasn't emphasized like wwe had you know videos and you know newspaper clippings and they played it up really really big they hyped the hell out of it which AEW didn't do so it's gonna be very interesting to see if that makes a difference when it comes to Dude, the opening segment on smackdown was basically sony deville coming out and saying starting in july we're out of here no more thunderdome Right, and bringing out all the champions and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, so and they then, actually like, made it a part of the storyline to open up the show on Friday. Well, I mean, they, they did it over and over. I mean, they hyped it really, really big. So it's going to be very interesting to see. They're going to put the tickets on sale on Wednesday for the three the first three dates, which are the Friday Night Smackdown on July 16th at the Toyota Center in Houston. Uh, then they would go on Sunday of that week at the Dickies Arena in Fort Worth, which is a new arena that's never had wrestling before and then the monday raw will be in dallas um at the american airlines uh center so or arena whatever um so that's going to be you know the basic gist of uh we'll see how they do those are i know that the toyota center would be about uh, twelve thousand for for uh smackdown and and american airlines would be about thirteen fourteen and I don't know the capacity of the Fort Worth building offhand because I've never had matches there before. But um, it'll be, you know, they're really pushing like they're going to sell out all these shows. Um, and what we've seen from AEW, you know, of course, it's different promotion. We'll see how hot they are um, when they start going on the road. AEW is, uh, you know, I mean, they did not come out and sell out all their shows, although they will. In the end, I, I'm pretty sure that the... Um, you know, Jacksonville, of course, it's a unique market with so many shows. But, um, you know, Jacksonville will be close to full on Sunday. Um, you know, I don't know if it'll be a complete sellout, but it's going to be close. The uh, um, the other shows, the three shows that they had, which would be Miami will sell out, but it's, you know, it's 1,250 seats. Of course, it's going to sell out. That's not a test. And the next week is Cedar Park, which is Austin, Texas. And um, that probably is coming close to a sellout um they're about a thousand shy right now and then the third one would be garland which is essentially the same market as dallas and fort worth so wwe's running um the friday night i mean the um sunday monday and then awb on the wednesday so that's certainly interesting and not coincidental i'm sure and uh you know it's uh AEW got the tickets on sale first so that's a thing in there but but generally speaking you know, when you look at that, I mean, WWE is coming in with a pay per view and a Raw, so um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna definitely uh, oversaturate that market. And then the real interesting one is uh, August twenty second SummerSlam, which is at the stadium, the new stadium, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. But after they made that deal. Uh, for the stadium, then um, Manny Pacquiao and um, Errol Spence are fighting the night before. So I wonder how that will affect everything because 
they go from being the big event in town to being the very distant number two event in town um, and trying to fill a stadium with 60,000 people for SummerSlam um, in a market you know I mean they're counting on tourists because Vegas is not a good wrestling market I was I, I think I was at the last WWE show in Vegas um, and it was or if not the next to the, the, the second to last but there were like I mean this was a Friday night Smackdown and there were like 7,000 people there and um, and it was a dead crowd too do we know what they're gonna set this building up for because I just cannot fathom doing anywhere near 60,000 people in August okay but here's the thing uh, T-Mobile would be 15 so what do they need with do you do you really need more than like even if you get like 20 or 25 it's not worth it to book the stadium when you can book the arena you know what I mean because the cost is so much more so unless you're gonna get at least well, I mean maybe they can believably claim 50,000 people well it's not about big claim. stadium it's, it's not about claiming it's about you know I guess it's 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 about just being you know, running with the the right sound and everything like that, and not having a lot of empty seats, and and also m making money. You know, even though so run the other one then. Everything you just said suggests run the smaller building, not the bigger building. Well, there's all. I mean, look here's the thing. There's all kinds of smaller buildings. We're talking Las Vegas. There's the T-Mobile, which would you know hold about fifteen. There's um you know the MGM Grand, which would hold about eleven or twelve, which I'm sure they think is too small for for um SummerSlam. Um, there's Mandalay Bay, which would be also considered too small, but there's, there's arenas all over that city. Um, and T-Mobile is, you know, the, the one that the hockey team plays in and it's the, the one that the UFC plays their big shows in. Um, um, MGM Grand would be the one that AEW runs and, um, you know, T-Mobile was the one that WWE ran the last time that, that, that they were there. Um, you know, there's the, uh, what's the other one? The, um, oh God, the one at the... The one on the campus, um, which nobody runs anymore because it's off the strip, and they, and they have T-Mobile now, which is a bigger arena, Thomas and Mack Center. So, I mean, that place is loaded with indoor buildings. I mean, booking the stadium is is just. I mean, I think that they're just. They, I think that they are of the opinion that because everyone's ready and people are getting vaccinated, and WrestleMania came a little early, that they could get. Tons of travelers because there's no reason to book the stadium if you don't think you're getting tons of travelers because you're not you're not drawing forty thousand people or even thirty thousand people in the Las Vegas market even for SummerSlam. I mean, um, when they did WrestleMania in Vegas, they only did fifteen thousand people. Granted, that's a long, long time ago. It was twenty seven years ago, but still Vegas or twenty nine years ago. But Vegas is not a big. Um, I mean, it was a good town for WCW. It's never been a great city for WWE. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll see if they they may, um, you know, before with the boxing match the night before, they may reevaluate all this. You know, before there was the boxing match, you know, it was, you know, whatever. You know, I mean, the other, and the other thing, too, in Vegas in August, it's going to be very, very hot. Although not in, obviously, in the building, there's air conditioning. It won't be hot, you know, in the in that. And it's it's... It's a domed stadium. It's not like they're going to be, uh, you know, an outdoor stadium. Outdoor stadium in August, you know, could be 110 degrees and could be like absolutely God brutal for a four hour show. So um, thank God for that. I mean, out, you know, them doing actual outdoor in Vegas would be a not a good idea at all. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.